What up guys, Ashley Manning here, back at it again with another video, and today is a video I've been wanting to make for a while. We're gonna do the Talon video today. So today we have, on the left side of the screen here, we have the Talon, the regular Talon, and on the right side you have the Talon Strike. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take them both out and do some VHRTs, both of them right now, back to back, and tell you guys my thoughts on them. That's basically it, guys. So if you wanna hear about that, you know what to do. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below. What are your thoughts on the Talons? Subscribe if you haven't already, because you know we got videos mostly every single day. And um, we're having all kinds of fun. And you know, down in the description, there's Discord, all those sorts of things. So let's get right to it, guys. Let's go VHRTs, all that stuff. I appreciate you guys. Let's check it out. So uh, we are currently in the regular talent at the moment so this is what we're in we're in the regular talent and we are going to just you know open up our stuff and i'm actually going to set a course to daymar real quick set that route and then i'm going to open up the contract manager and we're going to do vhrt's groups vhrt and then we're going to do a call arms Bomb. So, um, let's get going. I already set my route, as you can see, um, to the location over there. We'll pull up our landing gear. Pull up the landing gear, check that out. Oh, yeah. Okay. That pulls out the wings a little bit more, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? All right. There's that. We're going to swap off a couple mode. And um, I could start here on Selen, you know, because we're doing the uh, VHRTs here, but I want to end on Selen so that we fly back and get done with our talent strike and get into that mission. So we're going to start off by going to Daymar on the other side. So when we do the triangle, we're right away. Now look at that. Look at this beautiful quantum drive, okay? That's one of the be beautiful perks of riding the talents, is they got these really cool quantum drives. And, um, that's really awesome, right? I apologize. You know, we do got the Toby eye tracker on. I was checking behind me. Um, I thought I heard something. Um, but we're good to go. So, let's get into it. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully you're doing wonderful. Hopefully you're enjoying the um, Astro Manny being back to every single day. We're going to run a video. Um, not every single day is it going to be uh, Star Citizen, but 90% of the time it will. And uh, we will take breaks on Sundays. There might not be videos on Sundays, but for the most part, we'll have every single day. And um, the Star Set is sitting very heavy. And we're going to be running events again and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to be excited in the Star Citizen again. That is the plan. And uh, remember what we're doing here. You know, we're, we're using our new sticks, the vocals. And we're re learning how to play the game. We completely decoupled all the time just enjoying our time and uh, enjoying VHRTs. You guys know how it is. I'll give you guys my thoughts on the Talons uh, after this. And guys, I've never flown the Talons before. Let's just, I just want to let you guys know, just uh, I've never flown the Talons before. They are using the regular setup that you would with the Talons. I'm using double rhinos to um, size fours on the regular Talon here. And then I'm running the um, standard shields, which would be the uh, F uh, FR-66s, you know, standard military class, all that kind of stuff. What do we have for missiles? Well, we have the four Tempest II, that's all we get in the regular talent. So we will use those. Um, we'll maybe shoot two of them, depending on our targets. And so here we go, coming up to our first targets. We have a Vanguard Warden. And our Vanguard Warden is our target. I don't. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to take out everybody or if I'm just going to take out the targets. I am going to go ahead and just use two of these missiles on the Warden because the Warden pisses me off. So we're going to go ahead and take out our missiles on the Warden here. Locked on. And we're going to let him go around the 4,000 mark right about here. Let those go, swap out wreck his face mode. So we got a few hits in early and we're coming in fast and we're gonna let it loose and swap to weapons to recharge yeah. faster and we 
to get out of him. Use our speed of a light fighter to get underneath him and around him. We've already taken wind off there, you can see. There we are. It's holding steady. Oh, we're not actually hurt. I didn't even notice that our shells are down. Okay, we're okay though. We're okay though. Shields are up. Back to weapons. Actually, we're gonna go to boosters here. Oh, I forgot to uh, up my counter measurements, but that's okay. So we're getting double rhinos. That's all we got, so we don't got too much DPS, right? I saw that we had a freelancer behind us. I don't know what are the other two guys that are behind us. We're gonna have to use a little bit of boost here to get up in behind him. Lower the shields, get those shields back up. Back the weapons to get those weapons back up. So as you can see, we just don't have the most firepower in the world, but we do have a lot of mobility. We are one of the meta, uh, it's kind of off meta, but Meta light fighter ships, for the most part. Yes. Let's take them right on them. We're gonna hold it. We're gonna hold it. Attack on right on them. A little bit of sitting duck for the other guys, but we're just trying to get this warden down. It's taking some time to take out the warden. Oh, well. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen. That is uh, what we're dealing with currently. And uh, I didn't hit anything clearly. Clearly, I didn't run into him. But that was the case there. Uh, yeah. That was the case there. Uh, <laughs> Desync destruction. Apparently, I hit the warden. That's what happened. Uh, guys, we're going to do a cut here. We're going to continue going. Uh, I'm actually... I'm going to leave this footage in. But I'm going to reset up and everything. And I'll catch you guys over there. Alright? And it's probably going to be a new mission because I'm going to take a break. But I'm going to leave this footage in just to show the baloneyness. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in a second. Alrighty, guys. We are back. Sorry for the interruption. Um, I did rewatch that footage and um, on my screen I didn't hit the guy I was still a hundred meters away from them so it was just desync baloney but it's okay we'll keep it in and it's, it's nice little explosion nice little death footage you know it happens to the best of us you know we we die the game's not perfect and that's okay we just uh, get it all out and we uh, go back and we and we run it again guys we just run it again so we got a Valkyrie coming we got a warden coming and we got a Reclaimer and another Valkyrie. So it looks like double Valkyrie, Warden. Um, so it's going to be a pain in the butt here. Uh, we do, we're going to go ahead and do what we did last time and we're going to go ahead and give the um, Warden a, a few missiles. This is exactly, pretty, almost exactly what we left off doing last. Um, no changes here. We're just picking up from the death, um, and hopefully we can burst down this here warden as fast as we can. Now we know it's probably not going to be that great, especially we got two Valkyries that are going to be on us as well. So we're going to have to play quick and maneuverable. The ground is relatively close to, be aware of that. Um, homeboy is hanging around the ground a lot, and I don't necessarily like that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open fire. Oh, he just connected with the ground. Shit! We're taking a lot of fire already from Falks, so we're gonna have to readjust our situation here. We're just gonna run this smoothly. It's really dark. It's really dark. And we're gonna stay off of the ground. Stay away from the reclaimer. Put some shots in here. 
recharge our shots. We just got our two rhinos. That's the best we can do. So not the greatest DPS, but you know, we do what we can. We're taking a little bit of shots. Taking a few more shots. We're gonna go ahead and do some boosters here to make sure that we don't take too many shots. We're gonna recharge our shields. Go back to weapons. Get back on our target. Stay in weapons. Recharge. Stay in weapons. Stay in weapons. Continue doing some rolls to 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 dodge as much fire as possible. We are taking a little bit of damage. We do not want to look that guy in the face. Go ahead and boost. Go power to shields. Shields are coming up. No problem. We're gonna go to thrusters to stay up on thrusters and back on our target back to weapons to stay weapons up and back on our target staying on the target not let him look at us get up and around him don't worry about the other guys we are in a fast and mobile ship those other guys should not be able to land too many shots on us as long as we are keeping up our speed and our momentum our momentum here. So we're going to stay up on thrusters here. Make sure that we can stay up on thrusters. Next weapons. The uh, Vanguard is pulling something. We're using a lot of oomph to stay in position. But as you can see, we're not taking any damage. We're going to have to get a lot into our thrusters here. Yep. We are super hard in the paint here, guys. But it's okay. Like I said, we're not taking any damage. We're staying smooth. Staying smooth. Staying smooth. They can't hit us. They can't hit us. Stay on it. We'll go to shields and make sure we get back up to full shields. Back to weapons to get back our weapons and up the thrusters so we can hold our thrusters. Let's resync this up back and around. Back to weapons. We gotta make sure that we stay on our target here. Don't let him get his stuff back up. Back to thrusters so we can hold back on the thrusters. Back to shooting our target. It's getting a little out of range here. We are putting the hurt on him, but it's with our two rhinos, we can only do so much. We had taken one of his engines out. So good for us on that. So he's hurting a lot. And we're just gonna stay in weapons here and do what we can to finish. So as you can see, we don't have the best DPS. That is apparent. DPS is lacking. So that is one thing that you have to realize with the Talon. You do not have the DPS as some of the other light fighters. Um, but it's that was a lot of fun. Okay, so I had to fly around and 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 stay smooth and and keep swapping between uh, powers and whatnot and. It was a lot of fun. I got to sit there and talk to you guys through my whole fight, and I'm getting better and better with my sticks on staying smooth and being able to uh, transition through my different uh, power triangles, between shields and weapons and thrusters, uh, much more confidently. And uh, it's just, it's just, it's feeling good. It's feeling good. So even though we didn't, you know, burst through that guy. We, we clearly were in control that whole fight. There was not a moment, besides maybe in the very beginning, that we were like, whoa, 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 hold on, slow down a minute. There was one part in the very beginning where we had a moment like that. But aside from the very beginning, it was very much we're in control. We dictated the uh, speed of the fight. We dictated everything. We were in complete control. And uh, so that's that's the way we that's the way we held it. That's the way we that's the way we want it. Um, and you can see that we got to use quite a bit of 
oomph, so we definitely had uh, some g-force involved. We even had to invert to make sure that uh, we were okay. So we do have, oh, it's a gladius. Okay. Let's go ahead and take out the gladius and the other small targets here. It's a buck. We'll, we'll go after the buck first. So we got a gladius and a buck as escorts. So we'll go ahead and we'll take care of those guys. Alright, so we took some sh freaking damage from missiles, which I believe shouldn't have happened. I used four flares. I don't know why. In any case, why would I not be able to avoid taking damage there? So just, as you can see on the light fighters, we are there, we are in the pocket, we are holding them in, in strong. We need to get some boost back, but that's okay. We'll deal with that when the time comes. Right now. Swing around. Oh, already at 75% on fuel? That's crazy. The Talon is not very fill efficient. We'll land our shots on this here Gladius. I'll show him what true firepower feels like. There it goes. Target destroyed. And now we'll focus on our big boy target. And we'll just start laying into him. You can see how much we just dictate the fight. We're just in control. Mr. Warden has no control over us. We just stay right on top of him. And we just stick on him. And now we got behind him. He's got no escorts. So we don't even have to worry about anything. We just unload our clip, turn it around. Well, I mean, I guess we gotta worry about not running into any asteroids, right? And that is one thing to, t to talk about. I'm flying decoupled, and I'm telling you, I do get scared to run into asteroids because I feel like it happens. <laughs> because I'm not necessarily looking at which way I'm going. Um, so we're going to have to go to thrusters here. Make sure that we stay up on our thrusters. Missing a, a little bit of shots here and there because I'm focusing on the power triangle and kind of worried about. Uh, asteroid positioning. But it's okay. I think everything is okay. I'm just gonna try to stick behind him. As we are right now. Stick right behind him. And just land our shots. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Complete control of this fight. It is a warden, so it's kind of annoying to shoot at. We took one of his engines away, so now he's completely weaving out of control. Which makes it a little bit harder to hit him, by the way. <laughs> I always find that when you take out a warden's shields or engine, it makes it harder to hit them because the pip is going like crazy. Uh, and yeah, so we took out both of his engines now. Just the one. So as you can see, there he is, flying around like crazy. Being a pain in the butt. And I, I feel like Wardens are the worst to kill currently. With the size 2 shield bug, Wardens are the worst to kill. <laughs> and not having that lack of DPS here. It's just ridiculous. Lack of DPS. Come on, Talon. Watch the asteroid. I see it. Target destroyed. All right, so we're out of here. So, as you can see, I'm I'm still dealing with the main issue here that I, I think um, a lot of Talon 
uh, mains. A lot of people who live up and down and swear to the Talon have to deal with, you do have that lack of DPS. And it's just the, the sad, sad truth of a Talon. Um, you're missing that third gun. Uh, you might have two size fours, but it just doesn't stand up to the test of time. Um, which leads me to my example of, it's still a lot of fun. You know, like this is a blast to drive and I am flying circles around these boys but sometimes you're like please please so we're coming on to our last target with our talent we still have two missiles and that's the thing right so we only have four missiles in this thing um so we have two size fours and four missiles so that's not a whole lot of firepower altogether at all uh, one thing to think about though, uh, compared to other things, right? So like the Katayal. The Katayal has two size fours, right? Just like this. And has zero missiles. So this thing is definitely uh, in that same boat. Uh, I don't think the size, the, the four missiles makes a huge difference to be honest. Like, So what if you have four missiles or you have zero missiles? <laughs> what is four size twos going to do to anybody? nothing really so uh, I think it's a basically the same in the same boat as the Cantorel and and they're both quick they're both very fast and they're both very dangerous especially in atmosphere so uh, I think it's my that's my initial thoughts on the Talon it's basically just a Cantorel and to be honest I think I like the Cantorel a little bit better for atmosphere flight so um, you know we got ourselves a Reclaimer a Valkyrie and the Reclaimer is our target so I don't know what to tell you guys. Do we do we do we play circles around the reclaimer? I don't think we can. I don't think we can. I think we're stuck hating life right here. I think we're truly stuck hating life. Uh, we have to take out the Valkyrie and at least the double Valkyries to even start picking on the reclaimer or we're just gonna get pounded from behind you know so we're gonna do what we can we're gonna swoop around stay up above and we're just gonna continue to pepper onto this Valk continue peppering onto this Valk staying on this Valk Taking a little bit of damage, but it's already recharging. Now we're taking some more damage. Some beautiful, nice circles here. Beautiful, nice orbits. I I like fighting Valkyries, as you can see. Like, look, look at the way I can just hold on to these Valks. Absolutely tremendous uh, orbiting control against Valks compared to the Wardens. Valkyries are tankier than the Wardens, right? But just the sheer amount of uh, on-time target we could have on the Valks and actually hit them where it hurts, compared to the Wardens who, like, their engines are so close to their hull, so you're, you're not always hitting their hull, while the Valks, you're, like, always hitting them right where you need to be hitting them. It's much easier to deal with the size 2 shield bug versus... Valkyries than it is versus the Wardens. Let's see, we're here we go. Putting in more time on this here Valkyrie. Getting right behind him. His shields are down. We're gonna still just orbit around him. He's turning at us, but we're just gonna keep up our momentum and swing right across. We're just gonna keep our momentum. Counteract our momentum with a little bit of boost. Swing it back around. Easy placement. Easy placement. He's trying to flip us around again, but we're not going to let that happen. We're just going to park ourselves right here. Flip it around one more time. 
And the warden is trying to pepper us from behind, but to be honest, we're not even really worried. We're not even worried. Oh, that is a great showcase of what the Talon can do. Like, that was tremendous work. And fantastic. I'm going to try to ignore the Warden and see if I can take out the Reclaimer with the Warden just flying around. I, I don't see the Warden being too much of a, nun, a, a nonsense. I mean, maybe, possibly. We'll see. We'll just pay attention to our shield and see if he becomes annoying. Because, you know, we are going to have to dodge... Not only the Reclaimer's top turret, which we're already taking quite a bit of damage. Uh, but, you know. So we'll, we'll see what we can do. We gotta get into this guy, right? We gotta get in the pocket with this here Reclaimer. I don't know why the Reclaimer is moving so quick. Let's look around. Let's look around. Okay, now we're in now we're in where we want to be on the reclaimer. You see the warden is just like ready to line up on us, right? Hold this position right here, but maybe it's sitting real pretty. I'm using just too much boost. Also, there's got to be like a little bug with the uh, reclaimers at the moment too, because like his shield should have been down a long time ago, to be honest. Like, look at this monitor screen. The monitor screen is saying his shields are down, right? Please just get in here and, and look at his shields. We're, we're going to have to take out this freaking It's so sad. This is sad. This is what the HR team has come to. It's, it's just so sad. I shouldn't have to do this, man. Right. We have to deal with this warden. He's got the side two shield, but to take out a reclaimer because the reclaimer it's like the reclaimer is just so annoying to where we have to stand still basically to fight a reclaimer you have to stand still right like you have to stand still to fight a reclaimer because you kind of like got to hit him in the same spot over and over and over and over and over and over and over so that's what you got to do to fight a Reclaimer. Alright, so here we are in the pocket. Right, we're still hitting his... And we're getting hit somehow. We're getting hit by the freaking Reclaimer somehow. Or something was hitting us there. What is happening? 
I have full shields. What just happened? Well, Dunzo here. Yep. Did it? Did it give me a? I hit the freaking Vanguard again. So I'll tell you what, guys. Talon, no go. No go for me. Okay, we're gonna have to turn on couple mode here. of us, huh? Okay. Oh, there it is. Goodbye. Rest in peace. Talon's a no-go for me, guys. It's just a no-go. Uh, I'll see you guys back when I get in the Talon Strike. I mean, they're both the same thing, but Talon's a no-go for me, guys. This is going to be one of the ships. It's not even like it's the ship's fault. It's, it's it's half the game's fault and half the ship's fault. The Talon needs some love, guys. It, it just, it's great for PvP, but just don't do VHRTs in a Talon. <laughs> the, especially the regular Talon. Let's go check out the Talon Strike and I'll let you guys know when we get there. All right, see you guys there. All right, guys, here we are. We're back and we are in the Talon Strike. Let's see here, we are in the other ship. Can we complete our bounty before we run out of time? Let's find out, shall we? So, I had to fly all the way from Microtech because that's where my spawn is currently. No big deal, but uh, we'll see if we can do it. We have to kill a Reclaimer in seven minutes with a Talon Strike. Can we do it? Let's find out. Uh, so let's talk about the Talon Strike. Again, it's the same meta setup, so it's got two Badgers, and it's got the FR-66s as shields. So the normal meta setup, uh, that's basically, it's got the, the stock uh, missiles on it, which is 24 size 3, which is absolutely tremendous. So let's see if these missiles make the difference when it comes to firepower in uh, the Talons. For bounties, for PvE bounties, for, for taking on the AI, the missiles make the difference. And I'm going to have to probably go with uh, yes. Cause you get 24 of these bad boys and you're gonna constantly refill them and, and stuff um, i think the talent strike is the better deal of the two for pve for pvp obviously it's probably the opposite um again we got to get the reclaimer but we have to deal with this warden here so we're going to actually swap to missile mode and try to take out this warden as fast as possible Lock onto him there, and we're gonna probably change our trajectory so that we are on a pathway with him. I didn't know they came out like that. That's interesting. And most of them landed there. Oh, target destroyed. So um, right off the bat, I know we weakened the bad boy. We weakened this kid there um, beforehand, but uh, yeah. So I'm going to do two things here that I haven't got to do so far. Uh, I'm going to go, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swap to couple mode for one. And then I'm going to swap to lag him for the fight here versus uh, cool kid. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to get underneath him just like this. And we got our double badgers. We could use missiles up against him, I guess, but still, I, I feel like that's just not the right call. Uh, let's just see how long it takes for us to take homeboy here out for dinner. Uh, the reason why I'm doing couple mode is because you kind of want to sit here underneath him. It's a lot easier to sit underneath something when you are in couple mode. So I just want to keep my position right underneath his butt. 
and I think it's much easier to just stay underneath it while I'm doing that. And uh, look at the amount of bullets we have with these batters. I mean, obviously they're, they're not as much DPS as the double rhinos, but the uptime of your bullets is increased significantly, right? Because the capacitor is using smaller bullets and whatnot, so you get to just sit there and fire, fire, fire. So right off the bat, I know we just came in and obliterated the um, warden, and, and then now we're on the claimer. I, right off the bat, I'm really enjoying the Talon Shrike. Uh, it's basically the same deal, just a little bit less gunpowder, but maybe, in general, more firepower. I don't know why it's not returning my weapon right here. Of course, uh, we're having server issues here. That makes things so much better, right? So much better. Why my stuff is not... Charging, I don't know. Let's see what changing. So we went from having two size twos to having one size two. Uh, hopefully that fixes here in a minute. Uh, I don't know if to tell you guys about this. We only have three minutes to kill this bad boy. So it would be nice if we had extra shots. It'd be nice if we had extra shots. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch off the power of my weapons and switch them back on. That fixed it! Yep, that's usually a fix to a situation like that. So if you are having that issue, you can always try to cycle your power of your weapons on and off. And hopefully that fixes that, as it did there. And you see how we're still hitting shield? I think that's a, rec a reclaimer bug of some sort because as you can see on the thing, it's saying clearly that the reclaimer is. He has no shields, but we're still just hitting shields, and it just seems to be endless for a while. Then it goes away, so now we're actually doing whole damage. But I would like to see that on the indicator on that he still has shields, not the fact that he's gone empty out of shields. Now that the shields are down, we shouldn't take too much longer to finish him off, and uh, that'll be a done deal for us, right? Nonetheless, they both fly the same, right? They have the same maneuverability, both the Talon Shrike and the regular Talon. Uh, just one is probably better for PvP and one is probably better for PvE. Some people will say having all those missiles for PvP is absolutely amazing to just missile boat people and just destroy people that way. Um, and that's, you know, your own sort of opinion, which is nice. Uh, I, I just don't use missiles, especially in PvP. I think missiles is kind of bugged at the moment, so why use a bug when you can fight people legitimately with your pew pews? But uh, whatever works for you, that's cool. Um, I think it is fun to sometimes shoot missiles at players, but for the most part, you want to pew pew them? Okay, there we go. So the answer to the question, can we kill the Reclaimer in time to complete our bounty? And the answer to that is yes, the little Shrike can. So good job, Shrikey Shrike. We're going to go ahead and pick us another VHRT and um, give this guy a real shot at uh, doing some more damage and showing its worth. So it's a missile boat, right? So we're going to use it like a missile boat. We are 100% going to use it like it's a missile boat. So this guy here, uh, he is on a cave at Daymore. That's kind of annoying. That's not an actual. Uh, that's kind of a pain in the butt. Yep, Cave on Daymar, that's fine. That's where we're going. Cave on Daymar, guys. This game is being very nice to me lately. <laughs> Making me pick a mission that is going to cause us to uh, fly to the location because I don't think that place is going to have a uh, quantum marker. Oh well. It'll be on Daymar. It'll be fine. So again, we're going to use this missile boat like it's a missile boat. And so that'll show you that for uh, AI bounties, it's quite great. Oh, also another great thing about the Talon, of course, I've already mentioned it, is that quantum drive animation. That's really nice. It's really pretty. 
it looks good it looks sexy it's all awesome there so good job on the visuals all right like the talent looks amazing I, I can't i can't say enough on how beautiful the talent is especially the strike being that it's purple i know you can change the skins and interact with them or, or interchange them and whatnot but the base talent strike skin being purple like that it looks really nice i mean the talent the regular talent's green it's nice too um as you can see this does not have a quantum marker oh man what a shocker what a shocker so we'll have to play some Trixies. We are in a talent, so it does have quite a bit of speed, so it won't be that big of a deal. It just means that this will probably be the only um, mission we do, and we'll probably end it after we get here and completely destroy them, unless we just prove that the missiles are just so strong and so awesome that we can do another one. All right, you know what? I'm going to try that. Like, we're going to try to use missile power and also use pants. How we're doing. Uh, we want to cut right about probably there. It's about close to we're going to get it. It's only 100 away. We can go from there. I mean, we could do another different, we could do a different jump. We can get closer, obviously. But, I mean, that's more than enough for me. Yeah, we'll jump to this. See how this works. That's good. That's a good jump. That's good. I could have probably even got us a little bit closer. It was taking us higher up in the air. We're at uh, 55, which is not bad whatsoever. And uh, we're all set. Maybe we can change out our uh, screens here. Throw in a comms here so that we can longer lose our target screen which is nice uh check our missiles again we do have it set to four and we're just gonna missile boat we're legit just gonna missile boat and show how strong the strike is how about that i think that's a good idea right you use your resources again i'm not a big missile guy but those are your resources right so use them i guess uh, it, it does cost the to uh, replenish them right so it takes a little bit of money out of your profits by uh, going and replenishing those but if your profits is huge or your your speed is huge oh my god okay okay perfect 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 our target is a hurricane how perfect is that right so we're missile locked on our hurricane and we're just gonna missile boat him we're just gonna continue the missile boat him We're just going to continue the missile boater hurricane. Oh, he's already hurt. Look at him. He's done so. Oh, he's done so. Oh, he's done so, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go finish him. Oh, he's finished. Oh. Sorry. Is the Talon Strike too much for these VHRTs to handle? Possibly. Well, I'll tell you what. Talon Strike put in the work. Talon Strike gets the work. It's the cash. Talon Strike gets a thumbs up so far from Astro Manny. Thumbs up Talon Strike. Thumbs down Talon for PVE versus the AI. Okay. Um, most definitely am cool with running the... Um, another another one uh, what the heck okay where's our HRT target HRT asteroids are on a yellow let's see that one HRT targets gonna have the same target that would be on our um, VHRT, so it doesn't matter which one we do with those. And of course our target is on the other side of us. It's just like, it can't catch a break on the little tiny silly things in this game right now. They're just determined to beat me up. Nonetheless, nonetheless guys. So far, Talon Strike, awesome. How many missiles did we use? We used eight. Actually, we only used seven there. I don't remember exactly, we'll check. 
For PvP, I would still use the regular attack. Unless you're trying to missile boat. Still use this guy. Yeah, so we use seven. So we're gonna just missile boat again. And if that works, say, okay, so it's got 24 missiles, right? So if you used eight missiles per target, that's a whole VHRT um, group mission that you can complete without even saying hello to the fight. So the Talon Strike, low key, might be an absolute monster. Might be an absolute monster for clearing BHRTs. Low key. Travel. Travel. An absolute monster. Right, we're gonna go down. We're gonna make the enemy's gate be up. <laughs> it's still the enemy's gate is down. Still, you know. But yeah. So we're gonna head in this direction. No issues there. To flip it around, so look, the enemy gate is down. Okay. All right, there it is. Now we're gonna bring that velocity vector down and bring it towards the target. We're gonna do a little bit of deceleration here because we are trying to missile boat. It probably, if you're missile boating, it's probably better to um, turn on couple mode. By the way, instead of doing this in decouple mode, if you're gonna missile boat, you should probably just. Actually, I'm going to turn on, at least I'm going to turn on um, safe speed. I think our target is the Valkyrie. I think so. I'm not 100% sure. It's looking like it. It's looking like it. So far, so good. I mean, there's another target around it, right? Like, it doesn't matter what the other targets are. We're just going after our target. Right? Just gonna hold it. We're just gonna hold it. We're just gonna hold it. And we're gonna, I'm gonna let him loose around 5k. 5k now, let it loose. So we're just gonna back it up. We're throw off our flares. And then we're gonna let loose. He's already disabled, look at him. I don't know what happened there with our missiles. But as you can see, he's already hurting. We're gonna swap back to pit he's in a lot of pain guys guys talent strike low-key a monster talent strike guys Low key, an absolute monster. Holy cow. I mean, what do we got? Asteroids surrounding yellow. Well, I wanna do one more. I'm not done flying this thing. Somebody's chasing me. Who wants it? Because this is VH. Uh... Oh, you want it? You want it? Two hornets? You guys want it? Ooh. We're flying. Oh, yeah. These hornets. I want it. Give it to him. Give it to him. This is some testing for our strike, right? Right? This is testing. How well does it do against the smaller ships? Obviously, we're in a talent and we're 
too fast for them to hit us because we're beasts. And then we just lay down the gunfire with our unlimited bullets. We've already tore his backside off. He's just a limping little fella. He's just a husk of a ship. An absolute husk of a ship. Swap to the thrusters to give us a little bit of that. Slow dodge those, hopefully. No, apparently not. And we'll just fall in line. Look at those hits. Ooh, hello, game. Yep, so we still have to, you know, obey by the laws of the game breaking on us, like our weapons, weapons breaking, on. right? Swapping from swapping our weapons power because our game broke on us there. And back on the target. Keeping on target. A little bit of sunblock here. But we're in range. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. Right, guys. Low key. An absolute monster. An absolute monster. Like, obviously, those guys do not pose a threat. Right? The Hornets, the little ships, they don't pose a threat. The bigger ships? They don't pose a threat. Nobody poses a threat besides desync collisions. As you can see, de desync collisions are the only things that kill us. <laughs> I think we've been killed twice tonight by desync collisions. We have five missiles left. Let's go ahead and load those bad boys up. I'm, I'm just not done flying this thing, guys. Like, it's just Talon Shrike. Talon Shrike. It's the one. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna we're gonna get in there quickly, and then we're gonna swap to safe speed, slow us down a bit. Um, Warden. Contact. And then Warden is our target, so we don't care about anything else to be honest. Is that one there? So we're just gonna line up our shots. Let's see if we can take out the warden just as quickly as we took out the other guys, right? We're going to send in those missiles, just like that. And they're connecting. Shit! I don't think they all connected, sadly. So... Missiles not connecting is a problem, right? Okay, so we did good, did good there. They connected, but some of them did, not all of them. So I don't know about how many connected. To be honest, I didn't necessarily see how many connected. But here we go. We're gonna real quick burn and turn and burn to get on them as fast as we can. We're gonna hopefully be able to take them out. Again, we didn't treat this like a missile boat. We only had the five remaining. When preferably we would have wanted more, right? Preferably we would have wanted more missiles than five. Well, really, I think four, if they all land, is really all you need, but nonetheless, we'll take what we got. He still can't handle us, but of course the target is awarded. We're kind of sitting easy for the target, the other targets to hit us. That's because the warden here is making it quite easy for us to hit him. And we've taken out his engine. And so now it's going to be a pain in the ass to kill him. 
that's just the way it goes when you're fighting a board in range. I have a feeling this last one's gonna end up in death. We're just gonna run into an asteroid and call it a day, huh? Or just run into the warden. <laughs> Fighting wardens, man. Can't ask for much more than that. He's just losing everything. Come on, die, damn warden. Oh no. No, the alarm in the background, ladies and gentlemen. We got him anyways. Let's get the alarm. <laughs> oh no! I'm not at the screen! Help! Help! Alright guys, uh, that was fun. Let's quantum out of here. So what did we learn? Talon Strike is a monster for player or for AI bounties. An absolute monster for AI bounties. The, the regular Talon is basically the Katayal and isn't necessarily the greatest. But those are my thoughts. Talon Strike, A+, plus, thumbs up, huge thumbs up, Talon Strike for, um, for AI bounties. Like, low key, this thing's a monster, guys. A+, plus to the Talon Strike, um, down votes on the regular Talon for AI bounties. Or PvP, I think I'd swap it the other way around. But that's my thoughts, guys. Uh, you guys know what to do. Smash the like button. Leave your comments down below what you guys think about the talents. I know probably you should only be using the talents for lower level missions like MRTs and stuff. Not these big targets VHRTs because fighting the Reclaimers is still a pain in the butt with these guys. But hey, let me know what your thoughts are. Subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Um, a giveaway every 1,000 subscribers. So when we hit 2,000 subscribers, we will be doing another giveaway. Uh, we are chucking along and throwing out videos daily and things are going to be on the upside. I can't wait for to see you guys more often. Uh, this is Ashraman signing off. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and adios.